In this lesson, we'll continue to work on the mouth vent in the full face helmet that we've been working on in this chapter. We've started out with a simple trim to create the hole for the mouth vent. But we want to have a inset surface on the inside and that's what this offset is meant to create. To trim away the material that we don't need, we're going to use a ruled surface. Ruled surfaces are useful in a lot of situations. They can be used to create draft or parting faces on a mold or plastic part. In this case, I'm going to use it to create an inset. The ruled surface has several options within it. You can create a surface that's tangent to an existing surface, normal to an existing surface, tapered to a vector, and a vector would be an axis or a plane. You can have the new surface be perpendicular to a vector, or you can use ruled surface to sweep. A ruled surface, like most other surfaces in SolidWorks, is generally a four-sided surface, but in one of those directions, it is always a straight line. So the purple edge in this case is a curve with compound curvature, but in the direction, in this case, normal to the surface, the ruled surface is always a straight line. So with these two edges from the previous trim selected and a distance input, we can click on the ruled surface to create the face for the inset. The next step is to use a surface trim, and in this case, we'll use a mutual trim. I'll roll this back and create this from scratch for you so you can see that. I'll select the trim surface option from the toolbar. Make sure mutual trim is set. And I want to select the ruled surface and the offset surface. In this case, it will be easy to select the surfaces that we want to keep, so I'll leave the selection at Keep Selections and click in the selection box. Put the cursor over the surface I want to keep from the ruled surface and the face I want to keep from the offset, and then hit the right mouse button to accept. In Solids, SolidWorks automatically does all of this trimming for you but in surfaces, you have to do it manually. Notice that the mutual trim setting joins together the two surfaces that are trimmed into a single body. So we have the cosmetic ridges feature as a separate body. The mouth vent actually represents the main helmet surface because the mouth vent trim was the last feature that touched it. And the mouth vent area is its own separate body. Let's continue working through the feature tree. Next, I want to add some fillets to the corners. But because this surface body is not joined to this surface body, if I add a fillet right now, it will give me a gap in the corner. Because it does not automatically extend the main face. So what I need to do is first use a knit feature to combine the main face of the helmet, the cosmetic ridges area, and the new mouth vent area. So all of this will become a single surface body. Notice down here that we have a gap control box. This is new in the last several versions of SolidWorks. And when a gap shows up in here and you don't check it, your knit feature may fail. If we click on it, SolidWorks will show us just where the gap is. And it shows us the size as well. You will learn by taking note of what types of features cause gaps, which features are more accurate than others. The ruled feature and the sweep feature seem to be two in particular that are less accurate than features like, say, the boundary feature. And when I say accurate, I mean that the faces they create 
do not necessarily match the geometry that they start from. In any case, when you're using knit, make sure to click on the gap so that SolidWorks will know that there should not be a gap in this area. Make sure that the gaps are relatively small compared to your part tolerances. When we click OK, SolidWorks has joined the three surface bodies together as a single surface body. Notice that I have a setting under View Display that says Tangent Edges as Phantom. What happens with this is that you can use as a quick check to make sure that your edges in the model are displayed as phantom where they are supposed to be smooth. So these edges have worked out well. The edges for the ridges were not supposed to be smooth, and so they are shown with a solid line rather than a phantom line. This setting is only available if you are using shaded with edges or one of the wireframe modes. It will not be available with the simple shaded display mode. From here, we can create some fillets, and let's add the fillet. The fillets on these rear ridges taper down to nothing, and this can be the type of thing that creates a problem. Remember we talked about degenerate surfaces, and these fillet faces are degenerate because they do taper down to a point. So just be careful if you need to shell or offset surfaces such as these.